Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add PayPal debit or credit card buttons in your Shopify store. So the biggest problem our customers are facing is that they don't have the PayPal account and they are interested to do the payment using debit card or maybe credit card. So how we can add PayPal debit or credit card buttons on our product page as well as card page. So I will show you in this video step by step. So here on my screen, you can see that I have installed down theme. If you have any of the free themes like ride theme, refresh theme, sans theme, down, origin, spotlight, craft, taste, studio, crave, publisher, color block, trade. So this code will be applicable for all these free themes. I mean you can download this code and if you have any other theme then still this will work. I have already given the links below in the description so you should download the code. So basically you will be finding two links. The one code will be related to product page and second code will be related to cart page. So let's implement firstly the product page. So you should open this folder and here we have documentation product.txt and the first point is that go to Shopify dashboard, click on theme click on edit code click on snippets so here we have the dashboard so you should click on these three dots click on duplicate and then after you should click on edit code here we have some folders and files so you should click on snippets and then go back to the documentation you need to create a new snippet paypal dash thank you so actually this is the thank you page which we are going to create click on add a new snippet paste the name here click on done and then you should copy this attached code of paypal thank you dot txt so you should copy the code from there and paste it right here then click on save once the changes are saved you should close this file go back to the documentation create another new snippet paypal buttons product so copy the name from here and click on add a new snippet paste it here and click on done then you have the attached code paypal credit card product so you should select this complete code copy it and then paste it right here then click on save so you can actually close this file also and go back to the documentation the fourth step is replace client id with live client id of your paypal so what you have to do is you have to search here paypal so actually the file which we have just created paypal dash buttons dash product dot liquid so here we have client id which we have to replace it with our original live client id of your paypal so i have already given the link below in the description so you should follow that video that how you can copy the client id from your paypal and paste it right here and in that way you will actually connect your paypal account with your shopify store because when a customer is doing the payment then you will receive that payment into your paypal account right now i'm going to use sandbox test client id for the testing purpose i have pasted and then i'm going to save the changes and here we have the fifth step which is you can update currency if you want so actually here we have the currency us dollars if you have any other currency for example euro then you should write here eur so similarly you have any other currency you can put the currency code here the next step is go to main dash product dot liquid so you should copy the file name from here and then search in the search box so open this man dash product dot liquid and you need to search this keyword quantity input so copy this using control f or maybe command f it will be highlighted like this and then you should actually copy this line of code and paste it just above this highlighted code and then click on save the next step is go to assets open global.js so you should copy global.js file name and search it here and here we have global.js inside of it we need to search this line of code update variant input so let me use control f or maybe command f here this is highlighted you should press enter key and this is the function which we have to find so this is starting from here and ending at this line so what we have to do is we need to copy this complete line from here and then paste it just before this closing curly brace and then click on save next step is go to customize product and create a custom html section and paste below code so you should copy this line of code and then after you should go back to the dashboard click on customize click in this drop down and click on products click on default product and here we have add block and we have to click on custom liquid so you should paste the code here and then after you should move this block just below buy buttons and then click on save go back to the documentation and the ninth step is go to theme.liquid find body tag which is close body tag actually so you should copy this line of code and paste it just above this close body tag so where we will be finding it you should clear this search 
and here we have layout you should click on theme.liquid scroll to the bottom and you can see that we have close body tag and just above it we are going to paste a new line of code which is this one actually this is the thank you page which we have created so you should save the changes and then you can preview the store let me click on catalog and here we have two products let me click one of them and for example i am choosing green now you can see that we have paypal button as well as debit or credit card button for example i am choosing uh, yellow so let me test debit or credit card button once you are clicking on it then you will get this form where you can actually enter your card details so i have added card details and i am going to put here raju uh, you can put the first name you can put the last name for example and then you can add the uh, shipping address and then you should click on state scroll down put the zip code and then put the mobile number we have to add the email id and then click on pay now once the payment is done then you will get this confirmation pop up and here you can see we have thank you raju confirmation id is this your id is confirmed order details is this your email id your shipping address now we need to cross check over a transaction so you should log into your paypal account i am going to log into my sandbox paypal account so let me log into it I have logged into my PayPal account and once you are scrolling it down then you can see the last transaction is Raju Sharma you should click on it and then you will find out the shipping details and we have the product name which is yellow and large and one quantity and that's how we are actually receiving the payment from our customers so let me close this and one more thing is if you are interested to remove the yellow paypal button so how we can remove it you should go back to the code and here you should scroll a little bit down and here you can see we have funding sources we can remove paypal.funding.paypal so actually if we are removing this and then you should save the changes let me refresh it back and here we go now you can see that the yellow button is no more here but right now i need it so i am going to undo the changes so let me undo and let me save the changes and let me refresh it back here we have the yellow button back now we are going to add the debit and credit card button on cart page so you should go to the cart page and here we have only checkout button we are going to add those debit or credit card buttons just below the checkout button so how we can do that actually i have already added the code so you should once you are downloading it so you should open this folder and here we have documentation dash card dot txt so we have already list of instructions the first point is go to shopify dashboard click on themes click on edit code click on snippets so we already opened that uh, files so let me close all these old files for the product page implementation so here we have folders you should click on snippets and then after the second step is create a new snippet paypal thank you so actually thank you page we already created we don't need to create it again so if you have not created then you should create the third step is create another new snippet paypal buttons cart so you should copy the name from here then you should click on add a new snippet paste the name here click on done and then after you should paste the attached code which is paypal credit card cart and copy the code from there and then paste it right here click on save then close the file go back to the documentation replace client id with live client id so actually the same way which we did before so you need to uh, open paypal buttons dash card dot liquid and here you can see we have client id you need to replace it with your original live client id so you should follow the video i have added the link below in the description and you will uh, get the live client id code and which you need to copy and paste it right here this client id actually helps you to connect your paypal account with your shopify store so uh, right now i am going to use my test client id from the sandbox account this is for the testing purpose so let me save the changes and then the next step is you can update currency if you want so here we have the currency us dollars if you have any other currency then you can update the currency code here the next step is go to sections open main dash card dash footer dot liquid let me copy the file name you should search it here and here we have main dash card dash footer dot liquid and inside of it we need to find 
caught dash errors so you need to copy these keywords search it here and it is highlighted here so just above it we need to paste this line of code let me copy it and paste it right here click on save and then after we have the next step second seventh step go to themes customize settings cart change cart type to pop-up notification or page so basically the purpose of this is you should go to the dash you should go to the customize click on this settings scroll down click on cart and make sure that here in the drop down you have selected page or maybe pop-up notification because on the drawer we don't have any button to redirect our customer to the cart page okay so for now we have selected pop-up notification so it is okay the next step is go to assets open cart.js so let me copy the name of file go back to the search box here we have cart.js and we need to copy cart footer and search here using control f so it is highlighted so let me copy these three lines of code and we need to paste these three lines of code over here and save the changes then after we have to go to theme.liquid find body tag and then paste below code so actually this code we need to copy and paste it inside of uh, theme.liquid so inside the layout we have theme.liquid and at the bottom we have body tag closed so just above it we have to include this paypal thank you page which we already included if you have not included then you should add it here let me refresh this page again so here we go now you can see that we have paypal button we have debit or credit card button so let me click on debit or credit card button and let's test it so here you can see that we have uh, we have a form where we can enter our card details so let me add my card details for example i am writing here puja sharma and here we have to add uh, shipping details for example this is the state we have to add the zip code we have to add the phone number then email id and then you need to click on pay now once the payment is done then you will get this confirmation pop up thank you puja confirmation id is this your order is confirmed and order details are these like email id your shipping address so if you wanted to cross check the transaction you should go to the paypal account and log into it and then cross check I have logged into my PayPal account and scroll it down and here we have the last transaction Pooja Sharma. You can see that we have the shipping address and then we have the product name, we have quantity, we have a price. So everything is here. So that's how we are actually collecting the payment from your customers. And if I'm closing it, it will empty the cart. Go to continue shopping. Let me go back to the cart page again. And here if you are interested to remove this yellow button so how you can do that the same process which we applied before so you should scroll it down and here you can see funding sources paypal.funding.paypal so you should remove it save the changes and then you can actually refresh this once you refreshed you can see that paypal button is no more if you are interested to remove this checkout button so how you can do that go to customize go to this drop down click on cart and here we have to click on checkout button i button then click on save and let me refresh it back here you can see that the checkout button has been removed so that's how you can actually do it yourself into your store if you have any problem or something you can ask me directly i will help you out in that if you have any new feature to develop so definitely you can contact me i will be adding contact details below in the description so thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video. Thank you once again. See you in the next video.